gifted and safi Ramadan Mubarak Holy Records Ramadan Mubarak What up, Gym Nation, and welcome to Ab Nation TV. I'm your boy, Ab. So, guys, um, I know I haven't reacted to videos so much of this Ramadan, and because there's many things I had doing, something, a lot of things like working out, skit, and feel sick and everything. So, what happened is I had been busy on Snapchat, just watching people's Snapchat and everything, and somehow I saw. A lot of people will talk about this, talk about her specifically, like, and they say it's very touching, very this and that, right? So, I haven't react any Somali videos other than Niji and Out of Jelani. So, so she could be the uh, the first woman, the first Somali woman that I react her video. So. And I hope, I hope she will like and prove if she's watching. And yeah, I, I believe I have her Snapchat. I believe. But if this sound that maybe I could subscribe, I could subscribe. But based on the thumbnail, she, she looked like she's like crying. I guess. I guess. I don't know. But let, let's. I'm gonna react, guys. Let's start listening. She's a poet, she is. Okay. Delicious. For you. Sweet mother. Although this sounds odd in the English contact, is completely acceptable in Somali. You see, when a baby is 11 to 14 months, when the lips and tongue gain dexterity and the brain starts to match up objects to names, the first word a baby would utter is Hoyo. You see, when you get into an argument with your siblings, the first person you call out for help is Hoyo. Hoyo. Because you know. It's true. It happened to my friends so many times. Time as you quickly rush to reach for your phone and find 15 missed calls. 15 missed calls as you left your phone on silence to enjoy some time with your friends. You see, I too am guilty of this. Yeah, it kind of happened to me a little bit in the past. Yes, yeah, I understand her. I understand her. You see, Hoya has two syllables. Hoya. H stands for hope. Honest, human, honor, heavenly and hero. O stands for optimistic, open, original, obedient. Oh my god, oh my god, Hoya, why are you doing this to me? Okay, okay, because mother knows best. Okay, because you have no choice when you live under mother's roof but to say okay. That's okay, true. Why? Young, yearn, young, youthful. You are love. You see, Hoya has two syllables. Hoya and five letters. Three of them happen to be O's. Ironic how my religion taught me to love my mother three times more. Your mother. That's true. The lie. That's true. I forgot to mention all stands for opportunity too. You see, Hoya gives us an opportunity to grow, live, succeed, and become the best version of yourself. I don't know about you, but I am sick and tired of hearing that you were just an older disturbed Somali refugee. You see, what you and I know that they don't know, but what he knows is that you're not disturbed. To all the non-Somalis, let me enlighten you. Let me give you a glimpse of what. Somali household is like see her day is split into three sections morning afternoon and night she starts off her day by kneeling to her lord alhamdulillah all praises to god she she wakes up an hour before it's just to turn on the heater she makes a type of breakfast that reminds you of your heritage roots and home yeah you see leaving a somali household is like passing through security in an airport she makes you do a u-turn and says change your socks fix your collar brush your hair but the day does not end there Section 2, she comes back, cleans the mess you made, and she picks up 
after you. When you get back, she does not let you eat till you change it, do your homework to its peak, and then you get to Chill eat. Line. She then takes you to your max, French or football lessons, but this time, you never came back. Section 3, she waits. She waits and waits. Call after call after call. The number you are trying to call cannot be reached at this moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. Does it happen to me? He's tired. He's so tired. But I understand. When you come back, she gives you that death stare. Every Somali knows the words that come after this death stare. Hotel ba mudi mar kahil ga dudi so galisi. Translation: Do you think this is a hotel that you can come in whenever you want to? My mom she's a bit of a gangster sometimes because she shuts the door at your face. Now this is the interesting part. It's split into two sections. Now your side is thinking, how could she do this to me? I'm a grown man. How could she tell me what time to come home? But her part is That's the American well the other six way the like the, like like I'm a grown man, I'm this and that. That's that's how what people want you to think. And I used to be like that before, like I'm a grown man, I'm a grown man, I'm a grown man, but I just realized I'm the only child and I'm the only child so my mom needs me so much, so yeah. This is really touching, like sometimes, sometimes things I react a video like this is entertaining, I'm laughing and <sighs> Man that is true, like like my mom always told me that if, like back in Somalia like things would be very different if you live in outside of your culture because she told me that I could, like I could wear a kameez, no one can say nothing to me I could wear a kameez all day because for me I love wearing a kameez and obviously, like not only me, but a lot of guys love wearing kameez. I, I believe that. But but when you live in the other side of the world, if the, the other side of the country, they will look at you as as a label. They will look at you as a label and with those stereotypes. And yeah. And what she said about gangs and violence and like you gave up school, like I understand what she said. Like. 
like your mom sacrificed everything just for you to be successful like my mom told me that like like what she said it's like exactly what my mom said to me like like all her like example all her money making and everything she's doing all that stuff is for me if she buy a house she would put my names on it everything like everything like like obviously parents like not only just parents but moms will do anything and when it comes to religion you gotta think about your mom like the number one priority so yeah, that's very, very heartfelt speech you got there. And thank you for sharing. Like, I really appreciate Wallahi. Like, wow. Because I haven't, like, to be honest, like, Wallahi, I haven't seen any girls post on YouTube like this. And for for, for that, for that, I'm going to um, subscribe to your channel. And, wow, it's just... Yeah. So... I don't, I I believe I her oh, sure, sure, sure. I believe I her I have her Snapchat. It's just I don't know her that much. So yeah, thank you for sharing this video. So like I really appreciate. And my rate of this video, I'm giving ten. I'm giving ten out of ten, like one hundred percent, because. This is, I know this is not entertaining, which I love entertaining and make me laugh and all that stuff. But this, this is bigger than entertainment. This is something what everybody should listen, should, should understand the reality for our culture and everything, especially our mom. So, yeah. I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time on App Nation TV. To all the Muslims of the Quran, this face in this holy bath. Hurray, Hibubika, Ya Shahara, Rahama. Hurray, Hibubika, Ya Shahara, Ramadan.